Hey, welcome back to another tutorial for mapping. This tutorial is just going to be a short one on meshing your map. So first, just go to Content Browser and just search for any mesh. I'm going to search for a rock, lift, but a filter for static meshes. You can find them in here, the filters. So when I find one that I like, I will right click, reference viewer, check for a level. If it has one that's in the maps for the game, you'll be able to use that one most likely. So you do this, and you can just scale it up or down. I recommend keeping to a limit of 3 for the scale, but you can also go higher if you want to. Now, with the materials, You'll copy this material right here, the mi underscore shared underscore rocks, because that's one that you'll be using a lot. So you'll go to the environment, you'll copy it to environment, then you'll create a folder, call materials, move this into here, create another folder in it, call it rocks, move this into here. Go to the parent of this one, go down again, go down to this one, and then you'll find mm underscore asa underscore rock underscore mk2. Press the folder button to find it, and then put into the rocks folder. Rename these by adding the name of your map with an underscore at the front. Once it saves, you'll want to open this one. So you can override settings to s prevent snow from going on that mesh, unless it's in a snowy area. You can close these. Now what you want to go here is find this. Once you find it, you want to switch it to the black texture that you have right now. So search black and then your map's name. And that gets rid of snow, wetness, and exclusion. Now go to this one, set the parent to the map, the new one, as this. Save, and that. Now you can just apply this to that. And now it should be fine, and you can just mesh by doing this. To duplicate, I'm doing Control D, and to switch like this, I click E to get rotation, W to get movement, R to get scale, Q is select. It's recommended to make it look a bit natural, make the map look nicer. So you want to do frequent changes in location and rotation. And you'll get something like this, kind of. Though it depends on what mesh you use. There are a ton in the dev kit. Some work, some don't. But the way I 
So Gmail Ready should cancel out the ones that don't work. And then with this little area, you can just select all these. You can then create a folder like that, rename it to Meshes. Create another folder for them. Call it Rocks. Now once you select all of these, go to your data layers, right click on the far, and add selected actors to the selected data layers. Now they'll be in the far data layer, which is where they're supposed to go. And then to get grass clutter to go on them, you turn this setting on, the project landscape grass, and then you build grass maps. As you can see, now that I've built the grass maps, what, after doing the grass setting, the meshes will be like this. This will allow them to look more natural and also be more like the official maps in the game. I will only do this for this one little section though, because well, this is just a tutorial, and I don't feel like meshing in another map. Right now, so, yeah. I hope this helps those who don't know how to mesh, and I'll see you in the next tutorial on foliage. Bye.